Live from San Jose, California, it's The Cube at the Adaptive Flash Launch. Brought to you by Nimble Storage. Now here are your hosts, John Furrier and Stu Miniman. Okay, welcome back everyone. This is theCUBE live in Silicon Valley for the Nimble Storage exclusive product launch. This is a continuing coverage. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, I'm joined with my co-host David Floyd, co-founder of wikibon.org. Our next guest is Brian Bond, senior uh, systems engineer of eMeter. Welcome to theCUBE. Thanks. So you're out in the trenches, you're the customer, so we want to get to the customer perspective. We always love to talk about it. So um, Nimble's obviously got some compelling solutions. Um, what are some of the environments that you're operating? First describe your, your environment of your, of your job and your own company that you're playing in and how Nimble fits in that. We can talk about the product after that. Um, we're a software development company. We sell to um, utilities uh, across the planet, you know, gas, power, uh, water. And uh, my customer base uh, is internal customers, uh, software developers, test engineers, QA um, engineers, and services and support. We, uh, we are a virtualization first shop. We try very hard to virtualize wherever possible. Uh, the only things that we have that aren't virtual are things that, that can't be or, or shouldn't be maybe. Um, and uh, Nimble's proposition for us um, is across the board. Uh, space saving reduction, um, cost reduction, uh, ease in management, um, and, and availability were all key factors in us making our original decision to go with them. And our continued decision to stay with them has been predicated mostly on the fact that they have continued to evolve the product, that they have continued to uh, improve the features that they have um, while keeping that, that price point, performance point, and, and capacity point all within a good balance uh, that, that fits across our environment. And what kind of workloads you guys running? Because one of the things we had an IDC guy was talking about was the variety of workloads that these guys can support. Um, virtual, virtualized environments are obviously important. What, what kind of workloads are you running on top of um, this? Primarily virtualization. Um, but within that virtualization, there's a lot of different workloads. <laughs> you know, Linux systems, Windows systems, databases, all different types um, and, and, and varying sizes. We have some that are, that are fairly small. We have some that are, that are pretty big. We've got you know, some that you know, range into the terabytes in size uh, for individual environments. Um, but we also have a, a lot of other systems that run against these too. They're, they're, to me, I, I, I say they're minor, but it's only a number that they're minor. Um, so we have you know, SQL databases and Oracle databases running directly against these that aren't virtualized. So we, we have a, a, a good combination of all of the different types of things that you can do with a Nimble, maybe some things you shouldn't be doing, period, but we do them all with the Nimble. That's our, our primary storage platform and we don't shy away from throwing anything at it that we can't. Um, I'm, I'm actually at a loss to think of something that we've thrown at it that hasn't worked for us. So, so it's, it's been pretty good. So can I talk about uh, talk a little bit about how you're organized? And you uh, you run everything there? Is it the, the storage? The yes, our systems, our team is cross functional. Right, um, everybody so in our team, team yeah, exactly. Right. Everybody in our team can do everything. We have, you know, uh, I come from the old school storage background, so I'm very storage centric. I have a very good understanding of, of the big picture there. Uh, the same thing. We have you know a guy that's very strong in networking, but we all do all of the other types of things. I can go into the networking and make the changes that are needed to be made. Um, I follow the guidelines that he's laid out for that, <laughs> um, usually. And um, so that's one of the important factors for us with Nimble, is that I don't have to spend weeks training somebody how to go do all of, you know, set up raid groups and, you know, aggregates, uh, probably shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff, but how to do all of that core level stuff, it's, it's just done. We know, we put it in, we set it up, we need the space, we go allocate it. We do it all in a single tool, we can all do that work. Um, which in a, in, a, in a lot of times, you know, my, my previous position, that precluded people from doing that. You got to the point where you had one guy, or maybe two guys that could do something. Well now we move away from that into where my whole team can do that. My team here and my team out of the states can do that. We basically have a 24 hour shop now because we can do all of that work right. you know, very simply, right. very effectively, and we can all see the results of that work. 
So you've got uh, groups of uh, de uh, developers that you're supporting. How many uh, developers are you supporting? Um, it's between between the two locations, you know, here and, and outside the country, we have uh, close to 200 um, uh, people that we support in that. And it's a fairly robust group of people, very demanding. <laughs> um, they're under a lot of pressure to continue to innovate and produce and innovate right. and produce. Right. And that puts pressure on us to innovate and produce for them. Um, as our customer and, and it gives us a real good ability to do that. So let me ask you a business question. I mean, you're supporting all these developers, et cetera. Um, have you eliminated storage as being one of those bottlenecks to those developers? Because I can tell you when I was a developer, that was a major, major yeah. struggle for me. <clears throat> um, shortly after deploying the Nimble devices, we would get that typical thing from the engineers. My XYZ is slow. That's that's the entire description <laughs> you would get in the email. You know, application is slow. Go ch you know go fix the storage yeah, because it right. couldn't possibly be their app or it couldn't possibly be something else. Time to innocence. Isn't exactly. It? You've got to prove yourself innocent before we they'll go on. We very quickly else. got to the point where people do not ask me about storage. The only question they'll ask is, how much do we have? How much do we have left? That's get the more. only, yeah. <laughs> can I have mm -hmm. is the only question we get. Performance is not ever part of the equation anymore for me. It's it's done, it's gone. That's the holy grail, if you think about it. If you look at the storage side of the business over the years, that is the holy grail where it's completely abstracted away from, it's invisible to the, mm -hmm. to the customers. Um, do you see other things coming around technology that might kind of change that, in other words. What, what, what are you seeing as that you're watching as new trends? Because with DevOps and with consumerization of IT, when we heard about BDI is very IOPS hungry. Mm -hmm. um, do you see other technologies going to put more pressure on, on these guys to be, be more innovative? Um, all of the things that you just mentioned, I think, I think will we'll keep the pressure on these guys. I also think that, uh, that all of the benefits that they have are also working against them a little bit in the respect that disks are getting bigger, so you're consolidation comes down. Well, that increases your need to make sure that your Small. output yeah. can can mm. keep up with that. And they've been doing a very good job of that. And that's very important. Mm. That, I think, is where some people get themselves into the old school way of thinking, where you go up to a certain point, and now you can't grow it's anymore. You have to make a large expense Change. to buy part yeah. of something to keep growing. With the Nimble system, you don't have to do that. I know what my storage costs are flat. I know when I need to acquire more and I know how much that's going to cost me, and I know... You can plan for it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So um, you, you're very much a VMware shop. Um, you were mentioning uh, the uh, uh, vSphere as presumably mm -hmm. one of your tools. Do you, every, do, do, do you do everything through vSphere now, or in this DevOps shop? Uh, a, a vast majority. We try to do everything we can through there. We try to use a single tool to right. do everything. Every tool that we have to go out and use or purchase on top of that, uh, InfoSight is the best example, to be honest with you, that I don't have to buy a third-party tool, pay maintenance, learn how to use and configure something to tell me what my storage capacity or my planning needs are. I can go into a single thing that's included with my system that tells me when am I going to run out of this? What are the recommendations for maybe adding cash to a system? That type of thing. Um, but as far as the actual work goes, single tool is the best way to go for us, and the more we can do that, the, the new plug-in, for VMware is is fantastic, and again, it, it releases me from ever even interacting with the unit once I've got it set up. I shouldn't have to. You, everything you set I need it up there. and then everything is through VMware, yeah. and you uh, yep. deploy and everything else. Just, like that. Whatever I'm doing, I can switch back and forth, you know, between the different pages. Right. I don't have different tools. So come back to the uh, uh, the business issue, which is you're supporting developers um, in setting up this whole environment for them. Um, how much more productive have you made them compared with the traditional, you know, siloed environment? Yeah, that's, it's really hard to actually say. All I know is is, is that every, every single day we get requests to deploy systems and every yeah. single day we deliver systems. Whereas in the old way of doing things, that wouldn't have been the case. It would have been days to deploy if we needed to go reconfigure storage to add additional capacity, or just to even add a, a data store in VMware, that could potentially take hours of work to do over time, whereas now it's very, very quick and easy for us. Okay, great. Brian, thanks for coming on theCUBE. We really appreciate your uh, commentary. We got a break, but I wanted to give you the final word. Share with the folks out there uh, 
why nimble? Why are they doing so well? A lot of people going, I'm just like, well, these guys are growing. They went public. They haven't been knocked down yet. They're still, you know, growing. And they're in a good spot, great team management team, good culture, and obviously innovative products. But, you know, as someone who has a job to do, you don't want to worry about the products. You mentioned that earlier. But in your own words, why is nimble um, so doing so well and why are they so important? Um, all of the things that you mentioned are very important, and, and those are reasons they're, they're, they're doing well. One of the things that they're doing well and they're doing a better job of it every single day is, is they're coming to me and asking me what I need, what my issues are, what my workloads are, and what they can do to help solve that, rather than coming in and saying, here's what you need, which is what a lot of the other vendors do. They say, this is our product, this is going to solve all of your problems, when in fact they don't even know what my problems are. And Nimble is doing a very, very good job of actually asking the customers what they're trying to do. Their InfoSite is probably helping a lot with that. They're able to see what their customers need and adjust to that and be able to, to come up with new things. Yeah, I think if you went to anyone out there and said, hey, I can, can give you some st stability on your forecast for cost on storage and no one's going to call you anymore, I think people will sign up right there on the <laughs> yeah, spot. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm involved by yeah. that. Uh, Nimble Storage, uh, efficiency and collaboration, that's their culture. We talked to the CEO. Thanks for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it, Jared. Uh, stories from the trenches. We'll be right back. This is theCUBE, extracting the signal from the noise, live in Silicon Valley with the exclusive Nimble Storage product launch. We'll be right back. I'm John Furrier with David Floyer. We'll be right back.